Hello, everybody. God bless you. This is the day that the Lord has made. And once again, all of us choose to rejoice. Now, I've been talking about doors, and we've been praying that God would open up doors for you and for me. Hallelujah. But today I'm going to talk to you about door destroyers, things that happen to people after God opens up the door and they get really, 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 really blessed. One of the things that they do is they forget the time alone with God. They stop seeking God. They're so busy with this new door opened up that they forget about God. They don't have their personal walk with God or their devotional with God. They skip church. They skip their Bible reading. And so this can be a door destroyer. You stop seeking God after the precious doors open. Bible says in 2 Chronicles 7, 14, pray and seek my face. Very important. Psalm 63, 1, early will I seek your face. So after the door is open, do not forget God. Then the money comes, wealth. Do not forget the one who gave you the power to get wealth. This is found in Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 18. God gives you the power to get wealth. Then the Bible says in 3 John 2 that he wants you to prosper in all things, in your physical body, in your soul, financially, all things. You should be tithing now and giving offerings to God. Now, Proverbs 11, 25, 2 Corinthians chapter 9, 6 through 8, and of course, Malachi chapter 3, verse 10. Ramon and I used to live in a rat house. We gave tithes and offerings when we were in that horrible season of our life. We continued to give to God, and God miraculously got us out of that situation. We have not forgotten God after he has blessed us financially. We have not forgotten him. I cannot forget him. And so we are tithers and we give offerings above our tithe. I'm not bragging on us. I'm bragging on God. We have not forgotten God. Many people, when they get blessed financially, they skip going to church. They're out golfing. They're going a cruise. They're doing this. They're blah, 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 and they forget God. I'm telling you, the door is going to be destroyed. The second thing or third thing, when you get wealth, when you get position, when you get power, you have phony new friends. When you're poor, <laughs> you know who your friends are. But when you have some money, people begin to think, oh, wow, you know, Proverbs 19.4 says, wealth makes many friends. Some of them are good. Some of them are not so good. Real friends are loyal when you're rich or when you're poor. So you need to watch out when you get this door opened up about your friends, because some of them might be coming for a negative reason. The last one, gold diggers. When you get position and you get money, I'm sorry to say this, girls, there are some girls that are, that are gold diggers. Proverbs chapter 5, read the whole chapter, talks about staying away from the adulterous woman. Get away from her. Don't be with her. How many times have politicians been successful and they're going to run for another office or whatever and they find out this guy, there's pictures, there's videos, his whole uh, career is destroyed because of a gold digger. He's been stupid, okay? And so this gold digger comes up to you and says, oh, you're so strong. You're, oh, you're so... There's only one woman that wants, that you should hear that from. That's your wife. Amen. Hallelujah. So girls get busy. Wives get busy. Compliment your husband. So he doesn't need some whore to tell him how handsome he is. You know, more than likely you're as ugly as a mud fence, mister. And she just wants your money. She just wants your power. She wants to have a picture with you. Be careful, all right? I know of a man personally that was in great success. And man, he started dressing different. 
He started putting a chain around his neck, you know, and he lowered, you know, his shirt so we could see his hair like, oh, wow, never seen that before. It's like girls running around showing their belly button, you know. If you got two of them, I'd like to see it. But if you got one, no big deal. We've already seen, you know, stupid, all right, free of charge. But anyway, stay away from the gold diggers, okay? God has opened up this door for you to be blessed, but the devil wants to come in and to destroy that precious door that you have been praying for. I pray today that the Holy Spirit is going to help you not to fall into these different traps. God bless you. My name is Gordon Hofer. Have a glorious day and keep the door open in Jesus' name. Bye-bye.